Hello everybody, Scott Golden here with the Golden Opportunities Coaching YouTube channel. Welcome to those of you who are new here. Welcome to those of you who are seasoned veterans returning. And uh, what we do around here is try and bring about conversations of a psychological, mental health, emotional health, and coaching related paradigm. We do that as often as we can, usually several times per week. We make that happen for your listening pleasure as uh, a tool, hopefully, to help you to live the best life you possibly can moving forward into 2022 and beyond. Uh, this is finding out or figuring out if the person that you are interested in is not ready for a serious relationship. Serious being uh, having a different meaning to every person. Um, and so uh, there are a couple ways to look at that. If you're looking for kind of, kind of reading between the lines, the subcontext of a relationship, uh, it can be some, sometimes very challenging, especially if you're not good with that sort of thing or if your emotions are clouding your judgment. So... Uh, what are some signs that a person is not ready for a relationship? The first thing is, honestly, they tell you they are not ready. They actually tell you, hey, I'm not looking for something. And I think there's value in that, um, you know, that they are that honest. But also it could be kind of overwhelming because a lot of times, especially if we have the right uh, or the a focus towards trying to win a person over rather than true compatibility and true compatibility includes timing. And I think that's something a lot of people forget is that, you know what, you might be compatible with a person a year from now or six months from now or five years from now, but you may not be compatible with what they want out of their life right now. And so that can be super um, overwhelming, especially if you're not willing to take the hint, if you're not willing to get the hint that they're just not there. And if they're not there, and they try and force themselves to be there, you're going to be disappointed. You're going to be frustrated. You're going to feel like, hey, I have, you know, a negative connotation. I have failed. Something is wrong with me that I didn't get them to pay attention. And that's not the case. The next thing is they either talk about their ex a lot or they're not willing to admit the thing that they feel uh, that they did wrong in their previous relationship. Look, very rarely does it exist where one party isn't, uh, where where there's a one fault um, separation point in relationships. So the idea of a one fault separation point is this: if a person believes that they are, you know, I it's all the other person's fault. That's a red flag because what that means is they're not willing to take responsibility for their mistakes, even if their mistake was they hung on to a person too long or they waited too long or they, you know, whatever. It's, it's If they're either constantly talking about their ex in terms of the bad things they did or the good things they did nostalgically, or they are unwilling to talk about the mistakes they made and at least own a few things they did that they could have done better, then that becomes super unhealthy and, and, and unbalanced. So the next thing there is they feel they don't have a choice. So if if you're kind of feeling boxed into a corner that you don't have a choice but to be with them because they're the only person that may understand you, that can cause you to heighten your emotions towards an individual, which ultimately is going to lead to pressure that isn't healthy or good for either party. And also it leads to expectations that this person should get it. Why don't they get it? Why don't they care? Why don't they care about me the way I want to be cared about? The other Another thing there is, They'll flake out on you. They'll make plans and cancel. They will put forward the idea that they're serious about a relationship. We're getting to know you. And then they don't follow through, which is also the absence of progress. And I think that's the biggest mistake is that a person who is not ready for a relationship just won't make progress towards having one, creating one, being in one. In other words, what a, a person's actions and words, and that's the biggest thing in relationships, is actions and words need to be congruent for there to be a, a future that's mutually beneficial. And when actions and words are not congruent, it leads to trouble, and that level of trouble isn't always intentional. It can come from emotional immaturity. It can come from levels of uh, past trauma. It can come from all sorts of things. But at the end of the day, if a person isn't willing to follow through with the actions they say they're going to do, then chances are the relationship is not going to go in the direction you would prefer it to go. And if it does, it's going to feel forced. It's going to feel not natural and, and synthetic and ultimately be 
negative for both parties eventually. So hopefully that is helpful. I encourage you to keep your feet on the ground, your mind in the moment. Until next time, everybody.